Yo, what's going on guys? It's Defy here and I'm bringing you a completely exclusive uh, jersey design tutorial uh, as you see from the template that's on screen. Um, this is the one that I'm going to be using in this video. Um, I'm still having a little bit of a problem with um, the long sleeved one. I'm trying to find something that works for me because the current ones don't work for me and I don't want to upload a crap tutorial that isn't very helpful to people. So the jersey that's in the description um, or actually on the screen rather was for the team I was just in. Um, I was owner for. There's a whole story behind why I'm not anymore but I don't really need to mention that again. And I'm just going to basically show you how I made um, made it look like this. Um, this is now the template that I use for all my designs. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of um, it's much more simple. It's uh, better than the pr previous ones I have, even though the previous one had like a, a model body on it as well. But um, let's get straight to it, nevertheless. So um, it's called front and back t-shirt uh, mock-up. Um, I will leave this in the description as, lot, as well as my new graphics pack that is uh, releasing tonight. And basically, um, if I just delete all the layers, oh, nope, I just want to go back. I'll just delete all the layers. Um, there's the back and. There's the front, right? And that's basically your front and the back of the t-shirt. I mean, um, you can call it a t-shirt, you can call it a jersey. I think because it's got the round neck, it's more of a jersey than it is a t-shirt. And you've got the background like that. That's how the background goes. Now, unlike some other jersey like design tutorials that I've done, um, I kind of like this one because it's. Um, because it's a little bit uh, unique. Um, so here's the AI file of, uh, of the jersey. And I'm going to want to import this in. I mean, it's got the layers here. I mean, that's how you get make, make it look alright. And then you just dip, double click this and you change the colour you want the base of the jersey to be. Um, I mean, I can go for a nice red, I can go for a rich red, I can go for blue. You know, really anything, but I turn uh, turn the stick to white and dark black when I'm like designing the base color. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go back into AI and shoot. There's really a way of doing this. I would recommend doing the um, the Photoshop version first, but just for the base of this, I'm going to show you this. So I'm just going to grab hold of both the sides like that. So with the size like that, I'm going to copy that, and we're going to paste this in, like that. And as you can see already, obviously it's a bit big, but it matches uh, the base of the the template already. Like, it's already in with the layers. And then what I want to do is, when it says colour your t-shirt here, I just want to hit create clip and mask like that. And that should really do you for most of the template. Um, if like you're using a colour that looks slightly odd, you might want to go up and hit multiply. But I don't really like that. I don't think it's, it looks as good as it could be. But I'm just going to delete that and get the layers back. Oh, oh, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put it there, and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. And drag that round to about there. And what I'm going to want to do is like go, it's a bit of a trial and error uh, with jersey designs. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to stick these in. Two. And I'm going to want to put that underneath. And get sort of like rid of the white spaces that you can see. So I'm going to want to blacken out the arms as well. So I'm going to blacken out the arms. 
just by making a quick shape like that and then turn it black and then turn it black That on top, you might want to like keep on clipping the layers when you add new ones in. Um, you know, it gets a bit like that sometimes, but and we're going to want to double that back over here and put it on this side, and then maybe down the bottom here and cover that, cover that right over the bottom here, drag that down. And hide that. Well, <laughs> that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Um, it's gonna leave that there for the second. So I'm just gonna leave like like that for the second. And I'm gonna move on to the back very quickly. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't ever look like this just because I'm copy and paste and you know to save time and. Because no one wants to sit and watch um, me build an entire new template or new design right now. Uh, not that I really have the time. Um, so I'm going to want to drag that in. And then what I'm going to drag it in there. And I think what I might do is I might copy and paste that in. Well, sorry about that random pause there. Someone just came upstairs and, you know, almost ruined my video by coming in and talking over it. So, what I'm trying to do here is just drag this off the end a little bit. I'm going to sort of like leave it there. So what I'm going to want to do is stick down a new layer <coughs> and wrong one. I'm going to want to flip it horizontal. And clip it, mask that in. To about there. So then I'm going to want to copy and paste these here, but then actually down to the front. Sort of like that, and sort of like that, like that. You know, that's just really a rough, basic 
version, you know, doesn't even need any explanation. So that's where I'm gonna leave that. I mean, obviously, scratching on the edges, you know, it's not the best it could be, but then again, it's not the worst it could be either. Um, because believe me, I've seen worse. So I'm just gonna lock this background because it keeps moving. And, and I'm gonna want to get the logo. And copy and paste that in. But there, so there's your front, and then pretty simple for the back. Um, copy and paste these in for the back. And then you copy and paste them in for the back like that. And I mean, it really is that simple. Um, I mean, it's a great template to use, I think. Um, even though it's just basically just apply the clip and layer. And then, um, or a clip and mask rather, and then just put them in. Obviously, this isn't the best example, but um, the way it would show out like this. Um, that's how it was supposed to look anyway. Um, I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. Um, so like I said, I'm going to leave this template in the description. Uh, it's the one that I personally use, and I think it's a super, super, super awesome template to use. Um, it didn't cost me anything. It was just like a sort of random download at the time. And I was just looking through my files, I opened it, and I was like, wow. Uh, I had to play around with it, and I went, this is more than anything easier than I've used. And I wasn't actually going to put it in my graphics pack that I'm releasing later today, but uh, I had a change of heart and I'm going to put it in, and I hope people find it as useful as I have. Um, so there we are, guys. Um, if you found this tutorial, uh, tutorial useful, you know you know the likes, you know the downloads. I'm almost at 150 subscribers, and I cannot stress how thankful enough I am for that. Um, I can still remember when I was prancing around with like 10, 15 uh, subscribers. Um, I also want to say a really big thank you to all those people that have liked my videos. Um, I'm reaching maybe 30 likes per video now. And also for uh, the previous Jersey template uh, tutorials, uh, those have just hit over a thousand views. And I'm super, super really thankful about that. Um, other than that, guys, um, hopefully... When I get to 200, if I ever get to 200, or I might do it to uh, 150, I will give away some free graphics and I will give away some other game and stuff um, that I'll get in. But um, other than that, guys, um, that's pretty much it for the end of the tutorial. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Um, if you want to add me on Skype and talk about anything, um, and if you want some help with some designs and stuff, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, just let me know. So... I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.